The most recent extremist group the country is experiencing now is the issue of Boko Haram. Despite the Nigerian government escalating military action against the group in northern Nigeria, violent extremism and insurgency show no lasting sign of decline within the country. The former Nigerian president, Goodluck Jonathan, at the 2013 World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, noted that if violent extremism is not contained in Nigeria, definitely it will spill into other countries in West Africa. Scholars have linked a number of factors, including endemic poverty, widespread corruption, weak state structure, social frustration, and mismanagement of resource endowment as contributing to the scale of violent extremism and insurgency in Nigeria. Some experts have linked insurgent groups and extremism in the country to socio-economic conditions, such as extreme poverty in the affected region of northern Nigeria, endemic corruption, mismanagement of the country's oil wealth, and weak political institutions. Before the emergence of Boko Haram in 2002 and the escalation of inhumane violence in 2009, the northern part of Nigeria had experienced a couple of fundamentalist movements, such as the Metasini uprising. However, historians and scholars observe that Boko Haram is the most extreme of all these crusades, and the pattern of insurgency associated with this group hitherto was unimaginable in Nigeria. Arguably, this may be a reason why, from inception, local, national and regional stakeholders underestimate the threats posed by Boko Haram. In Yobe State, northeastern Nigeria, religious and traditional leaders converge on gay downtown of the state to address issues of countering violent extremism amongst the people of the state. The State Ministry for Religious Affairs, in collaboration with the Northeast Regional Initiative, had a session for security agencies, government officials, non-governmental organizations and youth groups and other interested parties on the need to solve and understand what violent extremism is all about and the negative impact on the socio-economic life of the people. The keynote address, the workshop of this nature will enable the participants to extend ideas and arrive at far-reaching solutions on security issues unique to our zone and take appropriate steps to arrest the threat to life and property. It will equally avail us the opportunity of realizing the need for us all to work together collectively towards eliminating the menace of the men of the underworld and mysteries. Religious and traditional leaders, amongst other participants, are expected to inculcate knowledge acquired from the meeting in their day-to-day -day activity so as to strengthen unity, which is a veritable ingredient for peace and even development. The United States Ambassador to Nigeria, Mr. Stuart Simonton, is calling for stronger synergy among security agencies in Nigeria to combat violent extremism. Speaking at a meeting of security governance group in Abuja, the U.S. envoy stresses the need for security agencies to share intelligence and stay ahead of criminals. Every single soul that I talk to when they talk about the future of Nigeria says security is job one. Also, the really smart ones say there's no security unless the people are behind you. So job one is security is not just your job. It's the job of every citizen in the nation. And I'll just round up uh, by saying this. I've never been in a nation that held so much hope or promise for the world as this one. We have had this idea of a security governance initiative, which is what brought us to this table. But I want you to know the core idea is this. The core idea is that none of us can do anything in the world alone. No one will do anything in Nigeria that lasts except for the Nigerian people themselves. And all of the resources in the world without teamwork doesn't give you much in the way of a football team <coughs> or a family or a government or a nation. I see this transatlantic partnership that we have as fundamental to the future of freedom and good in the world. And I see you all as the instruments of it. But only if you can work as a team, and only if you can bring into the support of that team every Nigerian. 
In response to the challenges of terrorism that the country faces, the Terrorism Prevention Act 2011, as amended in 2013, was signed into law. The act designates the Office of the National Security Advisor as the coordinating officer for Nigeria's counter-terrorism efforts. The act also gives ONSA the mandate to ensure the formulation and implementation of a comprehensive counter-terrorism strategy and build capacity for the effective discharge of the functions of relevant security, intelligence, law enforcement and military services. In line with the foregoing, the Counter-Terrorism Center, CTC, was established in 2012 and is located in the Office of the National Security Advisor. Because of the need for a new song in the fight against violent extremism in the country, the National Security Advisor Ali Monguno and his team have come up with a new policy framework for the country. We developed a policy framework that is truly people-oriented and is tailored to address the conditions conducive. The Countering Violent Extremism CVE program focuses on stemming the tide of radicalization, reducing the incidence of violent activities, changing the behavior of violent extremists, countering the narratives of extremist groups, and promoting core national values. The program is based on three streams, which are counter-radicalization, focusing on community engagement, economic and education-based projects, positioned to stem the flow of recruits and reduce the potential for radicalization, de-radicalization, aiming to rehabilitate and reintegrate extremists and their families into society through a number of activities, including prison interventions and vocational training. Strategic communication, seeking to produce counter-narratives presenting moderate views as a stark contrast to violent extremism and promoting core national values. On the 28th of November, President Mohamedou Buhari formally launched the country's policy framework and national action plan for preventing and countering violent extremism. The three-year plan is designed to create safe spaces for Nigerians to engage and contribute to prevent violent extremism. President Buhari directs the National Security Advisor to coordinate and ensure full implementation of the plan while calling on states and local governments to create their own frameworks and plans. The President states that as a free, peaceful and enterprising nation, majority of Nigerians were against the twisted ideology of terrorists. He therefore believes the document is a complementary approach developed through consultation with Nigerians in and outside government.